welcome back for another episode of Renovating EA, the series in which I renovate EA's lots. And today we are working on Chateau Free, home of the Delgado family. And before we get into the build, I want to talk to y'all about something. This is the final build or final renovation in Rendleton Bay. Um, I mean, there are still other lots, but again, I don't do unoccupied uh, uh, residential lots. And the Dead Grass Discoveries Museum over next to the lighthouse, I'm probably just going to replace that with the the build that I did for that for my save. So, because I just, just don't want to deal with that, <laughs> to be honest, uh, renovating that one. So, anyway, with this uh, season wrapping up, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break on this series just for a few weeks to kind of do something else like a mini series of some sort and kind of just regain my creative juices I guess or kind of replenish let them have time to replenish because quite honestly I am getting a little bit creatively tapped out with my kids finishing up school for the summer and all the testing that has to take place I just don't have any capacity for um, for anything else other than the the finish line of the summer uh, for school going out for the summer so I want to take a little bit of a break and and do like a mini series plus I also just want to enjoy and play the game because I haven't been doing that a lot lately um, other than 70 legacy I really haven't played much in the way of actual gameplay even in my spare time I've been working on um, either renovating this uh, save or another save that I made that for my personal gameplay but anyway so uh, with all of that being said I've reached a dilemma on what to do for a few weeks I was thinking like I said maybe a scenario but um, I just need to know what you guys uh, want to see so I'm gonna put a community poll uh, I'm gonna put a poll on my community tab is what I meant to say and see what you guys want to see do you want to see uh, me do a scenario do you want me to do you want to see like a little mini series of a household from my save or a pre-made household um, I don't really know how I would do a mini series for the pre-maids or anything like that I have a few households in mind that um, I could fit into a mini series with my save but I'm not sure which ones exactly but um, but anyway or do you want to want to see me double up on the save file overview videos or do you want me to double up on the 70 legacy videos um, whatever it is let me know um, so after this video is after you finish watching this video go head over to the community tab and Hopefully, I'll have it up shortly after this video goes live. Anyway, um, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about as far as channel stuff. Anyway, so to the build. Um, this build was a, was a struggle. <laughs> it was a struggle. I probably would say that it was probably the one that I struggled with the most so far out of this um, out of this season uh, it's just such an oddly shaped build and so big that even shrinking it down it's still it's still huge and it still feels empty to me I mean I know I don't really clutter my builds that much I used to but I don't really do that too much anymore anyway but I've struggled so hard with this build um, I mean it's a 40 by 40 lot and I think think that the house originally takes up about 75% of that lot space probably not that much but it feels like it anyway but I did shrink it down a few tiles from the back and a few tiles from the side but like I said I still I still struggled with it but I, it did eventually come together in the end but it almost beat me I almost quit and gave up 
um, a few times because it's just it's so big and I don't I don't know really what it is because I've built bigger builds I mean I have a house on my gallery that's like a nine bedroom Victorian house and that one although it took me probably a span of a couple of days to finish I still you know I still did it and it you know and it actually was pretty easy for me to do but yeah this one this one got me but anyway I also used my own custom content wallpapers that you see throughout the house and um, so I won't be sharing this one on the gallery because I don't like to share builds that I use CC with um, because I don't want to send you on a wild goose chase to find all of the CC that plus it also prevents console users from being able to use the build and have it function the way that it's supposed to I mean although I don't really think a function that the house isn't going to function without the proper wall covering um, but you know what I mean you, you, you know what I'm talking about also this uh, we're working on Supriya's and Je uh, Justin's room which in hindsight I probably should have divided that into two bedrooms but there's already four bedrooms in this house and there's only three sims I mean four sims living there um, so because I made a guest room too um, so I was working on this room and trying to figure out how I wanted it to lay how it wanted it to lay out you know how I wanted the layout to look I can't talk anyway <laughs> and um, in it I put, hit pause to kind of configure the layout and then I forgot that I wasn't recording and moved on and finished it so you miss uh, some of the the decorations um, you didn't really miss a lot. I put a desk in there and a plant, I think, along with what I already, you already saw. But this is Pierce's room, although we're starting to finish it up because I can't talk fast enough. Um, but anyway, I his favorite colors are blue. Well, his only favorite color right now is blue. So I gave him a blue room. Um, I'm not so sure about the the wallpaper choice on this one, to be honest. Um, in hindsight I probably should have went with a darker one but I didn't want it to be too dark because it's a kids room and I like my kids rooms to be bright and colorful and happy um, I don't like them to be dark and dreary now we're working on Evie's room and I went with a light purple lavender lilac whatever you want to call it uh, color scheme because I love that swatch of that rug I don't know what it is about that that swatch but I just love it so I went with that because I wanted to use that rug plus she also is wearing purple um, in my game so you know and I always choose my sims favorite colors from whatever the whatever color they're wearing the most of and this little area right here in the original was a little play area and so I decided to keep it that way because I kind of liked the like having a playroom or you know a bonus room being a playroom and I thought maybe as the kids grow older we could put like some games up there make it a gaming room but now we're working on the barbecue area and it's very simplistic because it, by this point I was just trying to get this build done I I still tried to make it look nice and everything it's not like I just threw a bunch of crap and called it done I did actually try but I was pretty much done at this point with this build um, because I had fought so hard in the beginning trying to adjust the size of the house and the roof and all of that which I cut a lot of stuff out for that reason because I struggled and and so much that I didn't want you to have to have to subject you to that but anyway um, I think we are about to wrap up so um again go over to my community tab and vote for what you want to see uh as a mini series or whatever and if you like this video give it a like and if you want to see more subscribe and i will talk to y'all later thanks for watching bye